Good morning, everybody. It is a foggy, foggy day with some odd sun somehow coming through the clouds anyway. So I have my daughter, Celie, with Hi. me again today. And you can see Frank is uh, in his favorite <laughs> little spot in the back. He loves it when we put the armrest down. It's so cute. So that's what he's doing today. So Celie popped over to get transcripts for transferring to Texas State. Instead of just doing it online. Instead of doing it online. She's doing decided, it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> she's going old school on us. So um, she and I started having some good conversation. And she reminded me that I really need to get my wide-angle lens going on this. But yeah. I'll let her be shown so you'll see my face all the time. Um, we were talking about YouTube this morning. And I was talking about how, you know, long-form video uh, Michael Selsner is kind of revealing is dead on Facebook. Meaning anything over a minute or two. Because we treat Facebook like a highway. So we have to have billboard content. And they say the best thing you can do on Facebook is uh, like one minute, two minute tops, um, square form video that really leads to a YouTube video, a longer form. Well, like, and the thing is with Facebook videos, we're trying to get you to watch our video. Like it just kind of is put in your face. Yeah. Because it's already Versus scrolling. Versus YouTube, you see it and you click on it. Yeah. Um, so people okay. are okay with watching something that goes up to an hour even. You know, podcasts are really big on YouTube. And... It's just because people that are on there, usually they're there because they have some time to stay. They're like, you know what? I've got a while. I'm going to sit down. Watch I'm going to watch show. you talk for an entire hour. I do that all the time, which is why I love YouTube. But um, That yeah. is so crazy. And um, one of the reasons that we historically have said, post, don't post a YouTube link on your Facebook. Instead, actually in, upload the video itself into Facebook. The reason is... Facebook will have it already moving. So people are much more tempted when they see movement action to slow down and decide if they want to look at it versus clicking uh, a link to YouTube. And we know YouTube is owned by Google, not by Facebook. Facebook and Instagram are like this. YouTube and Google are like this. Yeah. So Facebook doesn't really like you leaving, right? So that's kind of been one of the problems with our theory though, is apparently we're finding that people watch about one, 1% 1 of the people on Facebook watch a full minute even if you have a 10 minute video I'd say uh, every form of social media is pretty cutthroat I like to say that Twitter's cutthroat but really anything is it's just hard to get people to watch right. stuff that you're making you could be making free content making free songs like I do and it's just like please listen to my song please watch my video <laughs> and you're like oh one percent watched a portion of my video yay okay that's great um, and you know how, how bad our attention spans are when that Facebook measures success in either three or ten second video watches. Yeah. It's considered a watch. Yeah. <laughs> and like, okay, I think you're kind of stretching there. <laughs> right. You're going to say, I watched that video. I think I just was scrolling and got uh, my attention taken away and I was talking to my friend and I was like, oh, wait, yes, but let me go back to this thing. <laughs> and that counts. No, I'm not about to watch your video. I'm going to scroll right past it. But exactly. At least right. it counts. You can say that it counted. We're, we're really fortunate on the, on the drive. We have a, a very loyal viewership and we are... Uh, immensely grateful for each and every one of you and so many of you watch the whole thing and that's great and remember the other thing you can do that really helps us and helps all the content that you really like to watch comment comment thumbs up let us thumbs up back it's seen as engagement and Facebook is all about meaningful uh, human uh, interaction order, yes a large unsweet tea please anything else that'll do One oh eight. all right Coco jumped um, meaningful engagement. So if, if no one's reacting, then Facebook's not going to show it to as many people. Bottom line. So you really want to be able to uh, have your friends and followers like, comment, share any of those things on your video. Would you give me a diamond on the pie, would you? Yeah. Uh, are hugely helpful. So we were talking some more about, you, you said that like your friends don't really even sometimes understand YouTube and how it works. I thought it was interesting. I thought yeah, you I'll might like to, to share. Anyone watching? Um, so you probably already have a YouTube account. Everyone likes to say they don't. If you don't, first of all, make one. It takes literally two seconds. We all know how easy it is to make an account. But YouTube is this amazing thing where you can follow people. Like you can click a subscribe button and have the content creators that you enjoy in your feed. And just actually like spend some time there and you'll realize there's like this whole community and sub communities within YouTube. That's amazing. I spend so much time on YouTube. But, um, you know, everyone knows about YouTube. We'll click on a video link and watch it there. But if you get an account, then you can leave a like, which is a very big thing for the people making these videos you're enjoying. I'm right. a video creator, so I'm always like, please make an account so you can hit subscribe to my channel and make my day a little bit better, you know? I love. But while we're at it, Celie, go ahead and tell them what your channel is. Oh, my channel is Celie Sykes, S-E-A-L-Y-S-I-K-E-S. -E just my name. I make YouTube videos with mostly songs. Sometimes I'll do other stuff, but it's mostly just songs. 
recently has been released. And mine is, what is mine? Just Tammy, Tammy Pack. Pack I guess well. I guess Tammy Pack. So y'all check that out as well and subscribe. But yeah, YouTube's just this awesome thing where if you actually spend some time on it, you can um, start finding that there's creators that just make hundreds of videos that you find funny. And I don't get why we aren't on YouTube all the time because it's basically like free TV. Yeah. A little bit more like bite-sized stuff, you know? Yeah. That's and and what you were saying, like, if you have a Google account, a Gmail account or whatever, then you probably already have, Like, I had a friend that was looking on her YouTube app um, and was looking at my channel. And I was like, why aren't you subscribed? And she's like, I don't have an account. And I'm like, you're literally logged into an account that it made for you automatically. <laughs> uh, so please subscribe to my channel because you're already watching my videos. And she's like, oh, okay, yeah. And I was like, thank you. Now I'm up to 278. Let's go. You know? <laughs> so people don't realize. Yeah. That they already it's, have a YouTube. It's extremely simple. Like, if you have a Google account, which I'm assuming you have a Gmail, you know. If you um, have a Gmail. If you have a yeah. Gmail, you probably can make a YouTube account in, like, one second. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Excellent. Definitely. And there is something. I told Celie the other day, there's something called YouTube Live, which I need to, at some point, start doing. She goes, well, there's been YouTube Live for a long time. I'm pretty sure YouTube Live was the original, but I'm not going <laughs> to say that for sure because we are on Facebook Live literally right now. Um, <laughs> I could be wrong. But it's not a brand new thing you're saying. It's been a thing for a long time. There's a lot of live streaming things. There's also you know. I don't think that's as big of a thing anymore. And then there's Twitch, and that's for like video gamers. You yeah. don't need to get on Twitch. I hear a lot of talk about <laughs> Twitch too, but I'm like, I've got enough platforms. I can't deal with any more platforms at the yeah. moment. Now, I was watching a, uh, I was listening to that podcast that I always listen to for you guys, the Social Media Examiner uh, podcast, Social Media Marketing World podcast is incredible, and it's an hour long, and I listen to it every week. It comes on Monday. Sometimes over into Tuesday if I'm getting behind. Um, and it tells you all the latest updates in social media over the last seven days. So you, if you're consistently listening to that, you're going to be up to speed. But most people ain't got time for that. So I kind of feel like that's my job. I take that and I pull the relevant things. How long is this video? An hour. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, it's a full podcast. But I said, you know, it's really made for professional marketers. So I listen to it in the shower while I'm getting ready. And then I try to bring you what is the most uh, relevant topical news that applies to real folks, uh, whether in business or just for their own personal social media. One thing they talked about this morning we need to experiment with, it's called um, Snap Camera, snapcamera.snapchat.com, and it's used on the desktop or laptop, and apparently it's these filters, you know like the Snapchat filters, yep. which I've never used one, I need to do that, <laughs> but they're video filters, and apparently there's like 250,000 of them. And you can search them and you can uh, use them. You have to use them for, with your webcam, but they said it's really pretty ridiculously amazing. You can do it with Facebook Live, but it has to be done through the desktop application. Hmm. So I am looking forward. They said you could like put your cat on. They have cat filters. Yeah. So you could uh, put Is your... Is it just where they archive every filter they've ever had or something? That's they, what I would imagine. Because they do, you know, they, um, they'll feature like 20 filters. I don't look at the filters that much, but they'll feature like 20 filters in a week and then maybe change it out or something. Talking about Snapchat? Yeah, that's um, what I would guess. Because, like, there always are new ones. Well, you know, and that's always a topic of discussion is that Instagram and now Facebook have taken Snapchat's best feature, which is stories, probably. All these copycats. I know. <laughs> these copycat social medias. We're all trying to be the same thing. And I'm like, I like them because they're different. I know, right? <laughs> these Instagram stories. I know that I need to get with the times. I'm getting turned into an old person. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm sticking with the old Snapchat. And I was like, you need to get on board with the more popular one. And I'm like, no, Snapchat needs original. <laughs> It's the OG. <laughs> I'm so stubborn in my ways. I'm just refused to use those Instagram stories. I think I did one Instagram story. <laughs> and it was not the most successful either. So I like, I don't know if I want to switch. <laughs> but i got to start somewhere. Do, what, what do you see going on with Snapchat in terms of people your age? Well, Snapchat's the app that does everything. I think it's a hilarious app. Uh, for people that don't use it, there's this feature called Snap Maps. I believe I could be phrasing that, just making that up. But yeah. it is a map feature where you just zoom out and you can see... A bitmoji version of all your friends where they are on the planet. Uh, and I find so that, me that hilarious. That's really cool. You can turn it off if you don't want it, yeah. which is great so that everyone will stop complaining. But I have mine on all the time because what do I got to hide? I mean, I'll fight someone if I need to. Uh, yeah, you could literally see, like, oh, my friend's over in Argentina right now or they're up in Alaska for vacation and stuff. And, like, if you're someone like me who's made a few friends while traveling, then it's really cool to go out and see, like, exactly how many countries you have friends in. Like, that is funny. It's really cool. Tammy Smith That's showed me the other day, but she's connect. only got a few people on there. And one of them, she goes, what's Celie doing in a forest? It looked like a forest, but <laughs> but once she scrolled and made it bigger, you could tell it was just your apartment. I said, the yeah. tree, but it first looked like you were in the middle of a big park. That's funny. <laughs> um, but then Snapchat has other features, of course. You know, they're trying to get in on the news thing. And I don't really like it because it's kind of like, it's always just about the Kardashians, I feel like. It's, <laughs> it's their Kardashian segment of Snapchat. So it's quote news, right? Yeah, news. <laughs> uh, but... 
you know, they just do a lot of different things. I mostly use it for texting people, but yeah. it's really for whatever you want. Also, you can save all your photos on there. It's kind of like cloud storage. If anything, you could use it for that. Like, Interesting. I never thought about that. So it saves it within the app versus eating up storage on your phone, maybe? Yes. And then they also, um, well, it might take up storage on your phone. But I do know if you, like, if you lost your phone, you'd still have access to it. Kind of like iCloud. Maybe iCloud back um, And then another yeah. thing is if you have, like, private photos that you don't want people to see because, you know, the original purpose for Snapchat was for something kind of shady. They do yeah. have, like, a password-protected, uh, like, photo-saving section on the app as well. And so it's just, like, a bunch of random stuff that you can do there. There's something for everyone. And, and if somebody screenshots your snap, you, you can see it, right? You know that they screenshot it, yes. Yes, so oh, that's great. I thought so. So it can't stop them from doing it, but you know they did it. But you can call them out. That's right. <laughs> you can screenshot the thing that says they screenshot it. And, and screenshot say, hey, it. <laughs> I have a receipt of you having a receipt. I love it. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, this is a part of the parking lot where the coverage gets iffy and it starts going. We're trying to reconnect. So before we do that, here is Coco Bean signing off. Look at her curl that tail up like a perfect <laughs> little angel lady that she is. And you see that you got Frank there in the back dozing off doing his thing. And for me and Celie, we'll see y'all later. Bye.